Welcome, folks, to the 2022 Ark Survival Evolved Beginner's Guide. We're going to throw in some tips and tricks here, too. But we're going to get started right off the bat. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, I play official. We do have the uh, official series down in the description for you guys if you want to play along with us or just check out the series. But anyway, guys, let's get started. I want this to be a shorter video condensed, not a hour-long video. But anyway, folks, the first thing you're going to see when you log into ARC is this. And you're going to want to get your settings right, and we'll get into that in a minute. Also, on the top right, you're going to have your ARC news. Anything that's going to be of any importance, events with different taming rates, new maps coming out, will be on the top right of your screen. Normally I wouldn't mention it, but it is very helpful on ARC. Down at the bottom right corner, uh, as you can see right here, these are the game modes. This is normal ARC, which I would recommend learning on, but there is also something called Primitive Plus Official, which is a very cool version of ARC, but it doesn't get a lot of attention anymore, but it is very cool, guys. So let's go into our options. This is one of the most important things you can do in ARC. Now, you can copy my settings. We'll go through them really quick if you want. Um, one thing I always do is turn down on master volume, my music volume, and then you can actually do some other things here. As you can see, I turn up gamma correction. That makes it easier to see and not so dark. You can actually check off motion blur too if you want. Yeah, I don't normally care too much about that. And camera shake... I actually recommend turning it down. Uh, it, I have mine turned up because I'm so used to it. <laughs> and anyway, as you can see here, we'll go to this side here. And you're going to want to probably turn on your join notifications. And you're going to want to change it. a Fahrenheit temperature. If you are a person that uses Fahrenheit and or the, metri or the Imperial system, if you use the metric system, don't worry about checking that box. Um, and then also, as you uh, go down here, you want to make sure these are matched up. Um, and one, two big ones right here is you're going to want to take these off. Um, it does overpower, and you it makes it hard to see. And as you guys know, go ahead and hit, hit apply, and then save and exit. Now that you have your options right, you are able to play the game. Now, you, the, this here, the host local that you'll see here, is for single player and multiplayer. You can click into that. As you can see, change your settings, play what map you want to play. There is, I believe, 13 maps, including procedurally generated. Uh, so you have plenty of options. I actually recommend um, the... Island map, it is the first map, and it is a very good map to learn on. So once you click into Join Arc, you're going to see all these different servers come up. Any of these ones that say PS4, PS5, Official, or if you're on Xbox um, or PC, they'll have that too. But you'll know it's Official. Um, we are on PS5, obviously. So um, as you can see, this is our server list here and you can change these by the way to all these different options um, but like I said recommend official or you know just something you can play with other people and ask questions when you run across it now if you have played on a server before or you've clicked on a server you can go down to add to favorites and it will automatically add to favorites if you played on the server before but if you want to remember make it easy to remember what server you go on you just go ahead and add it to your favorites and it'll put a star next to it as you can see 305 is the server that we do our series on our official let's play on all right when you first join in and start playing or get ready to play you can change your character however you like none of these are really going to matter a whole lot except for maybe pvp you're going to want to make your hitbox smaller so make your character smaller maybe if that's what you want to do otherwise make your character exactly how you want now spawning in it always let you know if it's hard or easy is a rule of thumb hard you're going to die very quick on so you want to change or change it to an easy spawn if it isn't already also you're going to want to change your survivor name off of human so uh, that you have your name uh, you know actually 
what you want it to be. And then you're going to go ahead and create. Okay, right as you start, you're going to notice a few things. You have a hot bar at the bottom of your screen. That is where you can place tools and uh, brews and food and stuff like that. If you look on the right hand of your corner there, I'll have my handy dandy blue arrow up for you. But anyway, the first one that is flashing, that is your level. Um, that is how close you are to your next level. And when you do get a level up, as you can see, it will start flashing. The next one down is your weight. The uh, next one down there is your water. And you can refill that by just going into the water and drinking. Um, with your use button which is either square or triangle or whatever it may be for what platform you are on after that is your food bar um, to let you know how much food you have and after that is your stamina and then finally your health also as you can see right now I have a cold icon that means I am slightly cold now if it turns into an ice cube or a big flame that is normally pretty bad and uh, depending on what platform you are on, if you're on PS5 you can, or PS4, you can hit your touchpad. And when you hold this touchpad, you can actually see, it'll show on the right-hand screen, your stats and your effects down there. And on the top left, it'll show you your date, time, and where you are in, your, in the spawn. Um, on PC, I do believe... If I remember correctly, that is H, um, if I remember correctly. from Most of my time has actually been on PC, but in my six years of playing, I can't even remember. I've been playing forever, July 2nd of 2015. Um, but anyway, uh, so most of my time is on PC, so I will know most of the PC controls for you guys as well. Okay, guys, one thing to note when you start off, you're going to die a lot. Don't worry about that. That's very normal. Okay, so we're going to actually gonna go into our inventory here. You can see oh, I have all these auto items, skins that I spawn with. We'll get rid of them. One thing I want you guys to note is on your top right of the screen, you're going to be able to see all your actual stat or your controls up here right above my character. I'll put my handy dandy blue arrow up there. And as you can see, you'll have your controls up there that will help you out quite a bit. Now, as you can see, we have three levels. We're going to go over the stats very quickly. Some of these are obvious, like health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight. Now, melee damage is an interesting one. Not only is it how much damage you do with melee, um, but it affects how much resources you get with uh, melee tools, like your axe and your pickaxe. It does not, however, affect your ranged weapons so i want to make sure that's very clear a lot of people mess that up movement speed as you can uh, tell is how fast you run crafting skill is the ability to craft uh, better and higher quality items and faster things i generally don't pump this this is something you can change later and build what's called a crafting character um, later on also for fortitude it is your uh, how much the temperature affects you so higher you put it to the lower um or the better you can handle temperatures and also on how easy you can get knocked out and stuff like that now when you're playing pvp you're gonna go pretty heavy now everybody can build their character how they want but you're gonna want heavy fortitude probably melee damage and a lot of health obviously possibly some stamina maybe some movement speed in there now playing pve I highly recommend health and a lot of weight and some you can mix in your other stats everybody builds them differently that's up to you um, what we're gonna do is you go to the plus sign for example we're gonna pump some health and you can see it will go up and then you will bring you to this menu this is your Ingram's menu this is the recipes in the game that you can learn how to make I highly recommend only learning important ones like the spear axe campfire um, a lot of these are going to help you out but for example this is a saddle obviously we haven't tamed uh, a pheomia or an animal so you don't want to actually learn something that you don't need as there are too many things to learn in the game and not enough points so you want to be very selective about it
Okay, a few quick things right off the bat. As you can see, them beams off into the distance. Them are actually beacons. They're supply drops that you can get items from. You do have to be certain levels to give them, um, but they will help you on. Also, when you die and you get close to your body, you actually will see a green beacon just like that one in the distance, letting you know where your body is. Also, there are creatures obviously in the game most are going to be uh, passive or aggressive so they're either going to run from you like this or not care about you as you can see like that guy's taking off or they will come and attack you generally meat eaters will attack you and plant people or plant dinosaurs will actually just run away like that or sometimes they'll fight back but they won't come after you to start with Alright, now that you're actually ready to play the game, you can pick up rocks off the ground with either uh, triangle or um, E on PC. I can't remember what it is on Xbox, but and you can also grab fiber and berries from plants like this. And, and like any good survival game, you can punch a tree for wood and thatch. Now, obviously, you're going to want to make some tools, and how you're going to go about doing that is we're going to add this level here, uh, right here to our health, and as you can see, we're going to learn our armor right here, just like this, and some tools, and we're going to go back into our inventory, and as you can see, we have our inventory tab and our crafting tab, um, and you can switch back and forth. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to craft our first stuff. We're going to craft this and some armor. And how you go about doing it is you just click your use button on them. Or, uh, and it will tell you what you guys need as well as you can see the crafting requirements on the right hand side. Now if it doesn't say that, that means you accidentally probably hit your toggle tool tips. And just go ahead and toggle them and it will put them up. Now, obviously, you can just equip your armor into these armor slots right here. And your tool down here is, you can see right here, we got our tool down here. And you want to pull it out. Um, a pick will get uh, mostly flint from stone, mostly thatch from uh, trees. And uh, your axe will get mostly uh, stone from uh, your the stone and you'll get wood mostly from trees also too when you are um, hitting or uh, collecting resources off an animal the pick will get more meat and the hide or the axe will get more hide okay your next step will actually be to go in your inventory create a tribe you can do this earlier but it doesn't, you can name it whatever you want. You can go to governance. This is self-explanatory, so I won't get into this. But if you want to see uh, the settings I use, these are the settings I use right here for my tribe. Now, how you invite people to your tribe or accept a tribe invite is go up to somebody and hold triangle. And where it says show profile, this wheel will have invitations that you can actually use here, folks. Okay, and now uh, when we get going here, your first instinct is going to be to tame creatures. Don't do that. You're probably just going to lose them anyway. What you're going to actually want to do is you need hide for a bed. So you're going to want to kill creatures that are very easy to kill like this. You're going to know very quickly what creatures you're going to be able to kill and what ones you're not going to be able to kill. Um, for example, you're probably not going to kill a T-Rex right away. But something like a tri trilobite like this, you're going to be able to kill pretty easily um, just chasing it down just like this. Um, let's see if we can get him killed and you collect the resources off of him. Again, you're going to need hide just to get starting your base. That's going to be one of your most important things. And please, if you ever take advice from a decent player, do not do a note run. You'll hear people say do note runs. Uh, you do not actually want to do that. You're going to want to save them notes for later on. As you can see, we're gaining levels very quickly without using any notes. If you don't know what notes are, let's drop these on the ground, these black pearls. But notes are uh, little boxes or little things that give you double XP. And you're going to want to save them when you get higher level. 
Um, it makes it easier for you to get them way more harder levels to get than these easy low level ones here. All right, one thing to note too, when you are going to eat your berries, uh, definitely stay away from the black and the white ones. These will take away all your water and these ones right here will put you to sleep. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't do that. And let's go ahead and get some building materials here so you can see right here. Um, we are going to actually go in and learn a foundation. Building an arc is pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to build a foundation right now. I don't think we'll actually be able to place it here. Um, but this is basically things. We're going to put these in our hot bar so we can craft another one really quick too. And you can actually snap these to another one once you place it. But they're too close to other buildings right now you want to have your own area for it but anyway you want to place this down when it turns green and then you're going to want to actually put a sleeping bag or a bed down i would recommend a bed not a sleeping bag because the sleeping bags only work once and they only work for you whereas when you build a sleeping bed anybody in your tribe can use it Okay, as you can see real quickly, this is how you place building stuff like that, and it snaps to each other. I'm not going to get too much into the building, but before you do too much, you're going to want to build as it is a good way to gain XP. You have an area to start with, and you want to have a wall around your base. And that doesn't have to be like that big, as you can see them big walls over there. But you're going to want to have a wall around your base to keep your dinosaurs and creatures safe. Okay, now that you have a wall and a base up, your next step is going to be taming. Most creatures are going to be, you're going to want to either knock them out with punching, or you're going to actually want to go ahead and use trank arrows, but you want to knock out most dinosaurs. Actually, the Dodo Dex is very helpful. It's a free app you get on the Google stores, and you can knock out, let's see, this guy's going to be tough. There we go. So he's knocked out. You want to keep this most cases you want to keep the uh, dinosaur knocked out uh, you know and let make sure that purple unconscious bar goes down slow and you can make that go by up by actually putting narco narco berries or narcotics in the dinosaur or creature and then hitting remote use or just hitting use on them and it will do it and then you're going to want to give a food of choice to it most is going to be meat or berries like this dodo is going to be berries and you will see the taming bar go up and you just want to make sure it stays asleep while you actually knock it out and yes this is official these are just super easy dinosaurs um, as you see this is official i am the only a player on right now that's interesting um, but anyway as you can see you'll tame them up and you can name them and each dinosaur has something that is generally good at for example, these are pretty good egg layers, so there we can name him, we'll just name him KFC. Um, but anyway, as you can see, now you have a dinosaur, it can help you fight, not that this is a very good fighter, um, and other things like that. A lot you can make a saddle for and ride, um, but keep in mind, every creature generally has a use, you just have to figure out its particular use. A uh, very helpful tip, actually, I want to show you guys is at level 9, I do believe, you can learn these bolas. We're going to have to grab a couple stone, and we're going to craft a couple of them. And I'm going to show you guys how these work. These will help you keep safe or help you kill dinos. Either way, um, on smaller dinos, you can see here, we're going to go ahead and bring this out, throw it at this guy. This guy is not going to be able to move once we do that. And that's helpful to knock him out or kill him or if you for example you could throw him at a raptor's feet and get away from the raptor before it kills you okay now down in the description is actually going to be some more guides that will help you out for each thing you're trying to do so you can go ahead and check them out also if you want to see how i play the game we have an official series where i do go through and complete the entire game down in the playlist and we do videos on that quite a bit on the channel. Um, also, I am a smaller channel, so anything you can do, like, subscribe, anything that w helps will go a long way, guys. And uh, like I said, the Dodo Addex will, will help you out quite a bit. It's a free app for your phone. 
Um, but hopefully this helped you out, guys, and we'll see you next time, folks.